Bus surfing is the art of not holding on to anything and just uh, using your legs. Hey guys, what's going on? It is flipping Sunday right now. Donut Monster is about to do the grand opening. It's minus 17 degrees, and Marigold needs to start up. And uh, let's <laughs> let's get this thing on the road here. The other day, I had to change Marigold's starter, and uh, I did that in the driveway with uh, camera guy Dave. Oh, check that out. Yes, we got Marigold going. Okay, perfect. That was. That was first try, that was easy. Usually I'm like sitting here for like five minutes getting her going, but uh, but she's she's alive. So anyways, let's go. Yeah, my dad's saying hi, <laughs> he gave the thumbs up. But uh, yeah, first try, wonderful Marigold, great job. All right, let's go pick up Dave and let's go uh, check out Donut Monster. <laughs> and we have a Amazon Prime box coming up over here. Hopefully they got their package. That's uh, <laughs> just in the middle of the road. Oh, it's probably from this guy. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's windy or what, but there's like tons of garbage in the road and it's never like this. So watch out for the garbage. I think it might have been windy or I don't know what's up with this stuff. And there's a flipping pizza box up here. <laughs> like, oh, it's not a pizza box, it's a beer box. All right, so we got Dave. What's up, guys? So this is actually this is a great time to introduce Dave. So this is Dave. He's from uh, Vancouver, born in Montreal. That's right. And uh, raised in Alberta. Raised in Alberta. This is our rig that we're about to put the camera on. Is that gum or is that actual like tape? This is a tape measure. Okay. We use this measure thing. And How long is the rig? Twenty-eight inches. Perfect. <laughs> we're gonna put the camera on this, and then uh, we'll get back to you guys. Dave's fanny pack. Yeah, I got my man. Do you first. always rock it underneath your jacket? I, I do when I wear my when I have my ID. So how do you like the rig, Evan? I love the rig. Is it your new baby? Yes, it's it's for the news. The news yeah. is so important, and you need to look like you're from the news if you're going to do the news. Is my personal opinion. It's very newsy for sure. And what are all these things you have here? <laughs> Those are for the microphone. You know, we got the yellow for the HSR. Is that? I think the bus is about to leave. All right, you guys, what is up? We are down here on Barton Street about to tackle the Barton bus for the first time. That was actually the bus I was supposed to be on. Uh, we're going to change it up for Donut Monster. And what's a monster color? Either green or like purple. Or... Ooh, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so we're, uh, we're trying to figure out a name for the new rig. I think we got one. Rigamortis! <laughs> Dave's idea is rigor mortis because it is rather heavy on your shoulders when you're out a lot, you get rigor mortis. You stiffen right <laughs> up. It's <laughs> rigor mortis. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's go uh, talk to some donut monster people. Oh, look Rang at this. Of that box okay, so there's yeah. like, why, I don't want to touch your stuff too much, but they look pretty a exquisite. A pomegranate, a blueberry basil, a raspberry habanero. The raspberry habanero, I saw it online. Like, are you guys stoked on that? Like, I'm concerned for that flavor. I'm very... Yeah, it's, it depends on how really spicy yeah. it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah. like, if it's nice and slightly sweet and spicy, then it's gonna be real nice. But... Very nice. No donuts? No donuts? Oh. You wanna wait for the donuts? Donut Monster is my son in law. I get donuts every once in a while. Okay. <laughs> here it is. Yes, come on over here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So, how are you feeling today? Pretty good. A lot of people all day. Yeah. What's your favorite donut here? Uh, I actually like the Concord grape one. Quite a bit. Concord grape? Yeah. That's an acquired taste. Yeah. I love grapes, but the Concord is iffy for me. Whatever the Ruben does, he does well, and he went all in on this one, so. Is he here today? Yeah, he's sitting over in the corner. Okay, we might have to go talk to him. His name's Ruben, and he opened up Donut Monster. Okay, do you know what he kind of looks like? Do you know what he looks like, Dave? Okay, we're gonna go find Ruben. Crazy in here. It is crazy in here. Let's take a peek at the donuts while we're up here. Oh, after you, come on through. Yes, oh, hey. Hey. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Is it real mink? No, it's not real mink. Is it leopard? What is it? It's uh, just touch it. Rub it on your face and tell me. It's luxury. Let's go find Ruben. He is sitting in the corner over here. Excuse me. Ruben. Ruben. Excuse me. Do you know a Ruben? Oh, right here. There's Ruben wearing the Donut Monster shirt. Come on over here, Ruben. 
Here we go. So Ruben, man of the day, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. It's yes. been a good day. That's very good. What inspired you to make a donut shop? Um, people kept telling me I needed my own shop, so... Yeah, like, okay, I guess my question would be, like, what inspired the donuts? Uh, um... <laughs> uh, wanting to pair delicious flavors together into something new. Yeah? Yeah. Because they are very unique flavors. Yeah. So, like, there's something special. Yeah. So, you, this is, like, your first location. Yeah, yeah, so we've been, um, supplying cafes and grocery stores with donuts for the last couple of years. Yes. And, uh, but this is the first shop of our own, so it's yeah. fun to have our own space. Very good, and you got beautiful Lock Street. Yeah. Are you stoked on Lock Street? Definitely. I mean, it's a it's a great street. There's lots of people here, and uh, we've got a good location yeah. with lots of windows on the corner. So. Because this used to be the flower shop, right? That's right. It's been a flower shop. It's been a hardware store. It's been a variety store. It's been a number of things over the last 50 years. So. Now it's a beautiful donut store. What is your favorite donut? Uh, my favorite donut. We didn't make it today, but it's the baklava donut. The baklava donut. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what baklava is. That's yeah. sick. So okay. it's a take off the baklava pastry, but okay. there's a lot of different layers of flavoring. Very good. That's well, good. stay creative. Now, there's some very interesting flavors here. We got double coconut, vanilla plum. I would probably rock a vanilla plum. That sounds sweet. The classic apple fritter, lemon curd filled. What's that? Blueberry basil. Blueberry basil. Orange cashew. Um, sa saspa sarsaparilla. Sarsa. Sarsa Perilla. Is that how you pronounce it? Sarsaparilla. Okay. What, what would that consist of? It's like root beer. Root beer? Yeah, it's like root beer flavor. Okay. Interesting. I like the root beer. What kind of donuts are you looking at getting today? I got the uh, cranberry fritter. Okay. We don't want to hold up this line. So are you a barista? Yes. Yeah. What kind of drinks are you making today? Uh, so far we've just been making mostly lattes and Americanos. Are you guys running off an iPad? Uh, yes. Very trendy. In with the new. New year, new donut shops. What's your favorite donut? Um, oh gosh, I really like the raspberry habanero. It's like spicy, but it's a raspberry donut. See, okay, because I was wondering about that donut. Yeah, there's a bunch of donuts here that are like kind of savory and have like savory flavors in them, but they really work as a donut. I don't know how, like I don't know how Ruben does it. But... Okay, no, he's a very creative guy. Yeah, he's a magician a little yeah. bit. A little <laughs> bit. Okay, cool. Well, I'll let you uh, keep uh, doing your thing. No, not yet. There's a huge... Could I? Yeah, what kind do you want? Uh, uh, I was looking at the vanilla plum. Vanilla plum. I did say that I like the vanilla plum. And can we get a coconut curry? Sick. Look at that. Customer service. Dave, I know you're stoked. How do you feel, Dave? Yo, I feel so excited right now. These are my favorite donuts. Oh, well, thank you so much. Let's go try out this donut. We got this beautiful... Tasty looking donut. Very good. I wish my nose wasn't as plugged because I'd probably get a bit more flavor in on this bite, but... Mmm. Okay. Yep. Yep. It's- I'm trying to like work past like the- the phlegm and get flavor onto my tongue here. Dissecting it, it's like very plummy. Our plum's tart because I'm getting a bit of a tart vibe. The dough is very fresh. It's like if you're Dutch and you've had Ole Bolen, it's like a fresh batch of Ole Bolen. Shout out to the Dutch families. No, 10 out of 10 donut, straight up. Dave, can I have a bite of your curry one? It might clear my sinuses. I'm nervous for it. I love curry, but on a donut. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's actually good, but it's exactly what you think it would taste like. The curry is strong, but it's sweet. And that's really weird in my, my brain right now. I'm gonna go back to the plum. What's your kind of preference for a donut? Depends on the day. I'm gonna say right now, I'm probably gonna have to get something with chocolate. Okay. I think. I think. But okay. it could be anything. Yeah. yeah. I'm always in a fritter mood. Fritters okay. yeah. and me, you know, but I can feel the chocolate. Chocolate's good. All right. Well, we're gonna head out and uh, have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye, Ruben. Have a good day, Ruben. Excellent store. How were they? Excellent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, what donut did you get? <laughs> I got two, the fritter, classic fritter. Oh, perfect. And an apple cinnamon type thing. Oh, so we're on the same kind of wavelength for flavor palettes. Yeah, do you want a bite of? Did you have oh, that one yet? I haven't had that one yet, no. Out? I'll have a little tiny bite for sure. Okay. That is excellent. Yeah, here you go. Do you want me to just like baby bird it? Yeah, baby okay. bird. Hi, mom. <laughs> oh, very good. That's a really good, very cinnamony. <laughs> I think you just got the cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, I think I just got the cinnamon. That's it at Donut Monster. I'm gonna throw it back to Wally for the weather. Thanks, Jake. We've, we're in the middle of a cold freeze right now, but no worries. Down here at Donut Monster, 
Uh, it should be warming up in the next few days. By midweek, we should be about plus seven and some rain in the forecast. So whether you like the, the cold, the rain, we got it all for you this week. Keep watching the Evan Show. And keep watching the Evan Show. What's up you guys? So we're down here at the first ever Tim Hortons in Canada and uh, we just found out that Tim Hortons is deciding to uh, cut uh, benefits based on uh, the minimum wage going up and we're about to find out what's up with that. So what's your name, man? My name's Ethan Doug. Yeah? Ethan? Yeah, you can call me Shorty, fam. Okay, I'll call you Shorty. Did yeah. you hear about uh, them cutting the benefits of their staff and raising the prices because of minimum wage? Yeah, I heard that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. How, do you, how do you feel bullshit. about that? It's bullshit because I got mass friends that work there and that's bullshit, fam. All right, excuse me, sir. So uh, how are you feeling today? Good, good. Yeah? All right, what's up? Well, uh, I just heard that uh, Tim Hortons is cutting benefits for uh, Timmy's workers. It's not at this store, sir. This is a corporate store, so we're not a franchise location. We're corporate. So what was all the flack going on on the internet about? Was it just through that one franchise store? Just one franchise store. So we got hit pretty hard with the facts right there, but one fact still remains, and that's minimum wage is going up. So uh, what's up with that? What are your thoughts on minimum wage going up? Good or bad? I mean, to be honest, I don't know much, but it feels pretty good to get paid more, so... Uh, I think it's a bad idea, just because yeah? cost of living goes up, so it makes everything more expensive for yeah. everybody. So people that were already making more, they're just making less now. I think it's cool, but I think, like, honestly, like, it, it's probably going to cause a lot of issues because everything else is going to rise too, obviously, right, with it, so... Do you think uh, Tim Hortons workers and stuff should be making the 15 bucks an hour? I Why are they not getting it too? No, they are getting it too, but some people are saying that if they want a better job, that they should get a degree. They should be making that 15 an hour. Some of those people, yeah, they're supporting their families and have kids and need the benefits for it. If no one worked at Tim Hortons, people wouldn't get their coffee and then they're bitching. So people got to make up their minds on what they want. My, my viewpoint is like you cannot simultaneously judge somebody for working a low job but then also simultaneously demand that service from them. Minimum wage increase, are you down for it or are you not? I'm down for it. We need it in the city because of the living conditions. The, the, the rents and all that are going up so we need our wages to go up to compensate yeah. for all the changes. Even with disability or welfare, it needs to go up as well. Education is one thing, it's an investment in yourself, but people are gonna be looking for jobs and they're not gonna get nothing. Business is business. Like Donald Trump says, nothing personal, this is business. So what's in the cup? Uh, coffee. Yeah, what, what do you take in your coffee? Uh, four by four. Oh, beautiful, extra sweet. Have you heard about uh, what's going on with Tim Hortons right now? I actually just read about that in the paper. Yeah? Yeah. What are your thoughts on it? It's kind of stupid. It's what, a dollar? Yeah. And they're a million dollar company. I don't know what their bottom line was last year. Like what they made in total last year? Yeah. I think it was 345.6 mil. Oh, come on. Like. Come on, like, <laughs> I just want to see a fraction of that, that's all. Will you continue to go to Tim Hortons? I don't know. Oh, is that, that's not even Tim Hortons? Nope. No. Is that country style? It is. Oh, it man. Is. The coffee's way better. Uh, I think, I think, I don't, I don't know. I don't work. I don't it's know. bad. It's not good. No, it's we not need good. money. <laughs> we yeah? need money. I don't know. If they're going to increase the prices of everything else, what's the point of doing both? It's only increasing Fuck the government. It's, it's only increasing the government. Yeah, there's no, there's no, no hope. We're not getting yeah, any yeah. benefit. Yeah. It's only yeah. the government. I don't think they should make more than they're making. No? No. Because I can't even make a coffee properly. Sometimes. As far as the Tim Hortons wage, they, they lost their breaks, they've lost their uh, benefits and all that stuff, and due to them getting a raise, they're actually making $41 less, uh, less a week. <laughs> hey, I make 15 an hour instead of 11, you know, sounds better. <laughs> Are you for it or against it? I'm against that. Yeah. Well, they should give everyone else a raise. I want to say hi to Jesus. Hi, Jesus. It's perfect. I'm freezing cold right now, so I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, pursue what you love and stay minty. <laughs> stay minty. <laughs>